Okay, so these are the new Sony WH-1000XM5 headphones, and this is a very easy review for me to do because these have great noise cancellation, great audio quality, and a great comfortable feel. And this has been the case ever since like the XM2s that came out years ago, so I didn't wanna just like focus on that, but I did wanna focus on how these compare to the previous XM4s because I think a lot of people are gonna be trying to make a decision between these two, whether you already own the XM4s or you're looking at trying to buy one or the other, and that's because Sony will still be selling these XM4s on their website. So you can still uh, get these for $350 where the XM5s will be costing you $400. And so with that being said, let's go ahead and compare these two. So the first thing you're gonna notice is the difference in design. These XM5s are meant to be more premium, especially with that higher price. And you do get that with this synthetic leather that's like on the entire headband here at the top and also with the ear cups as well. So when you pick up these, it feels like you're mostly going to be touching leather, which adds to that premium feel. And then also you will find that when you do put these on your head, they actually do feel more comfortable than the XM4s. Now, to be honest with you, the XM4s have been very comfortable for me. I've worn them on flights that lasted like seven, eight, nine hours. So I never found them to be uncomfortable, but just comparing them to the XM5s, um, the headband on the XM5 does feel a little bit lighter on my head. And also the uh, suction that I get from the ear cups, as far as the seal they make around my ears, they feel more or just as secure as the XM4s, but um, they don't feel as like heavy. And again, the XM4s are fine. Just I'm just comparing the to um, to try to let you know. Now, one other thing that you will notice is that um, both of the ear cups on these uh, headphones do swivel so they can kind of form to your head. If you have an oddly shaped head like I do, uh, that's always going to be welcome. So you still get that. But the one thing missing from the XM5s that's a big deal for me because I travel a lot with these is the ability to be able to fold up like you can with these XM4s just like this. On the XM5s, you can't do that. There's no folding or anything like that. So the best case scenario is for you to have them flat like this. So this right here makes a big difference for me because I do a lot of one bag travel where I carry my backpack and all of my you know tech, all of my clothes, everything is in that one bag. So being able to have this to be able to be folded up like this and fit in something like a camera cube is awesome for me. Um, and because these XM5s can't, I feel a little bit you know bad if I do put them in my bag without some type of protection and especially with them having this design it just feels like they're more prone to be um, broken in the back without protection now sony does uh, include a case with these xm5s which is actually a really nice case um, and one thing you will notice with the case is that uh, it starts out thick in the back and then ends up a little bit slimmer in the front and then also too uh, when you put the headphones inside of uh, this they will be laying flat and you also do have a little kind of pouch right here a magnetic pouch uh, that opens up where you can put some cables and some some other things in there and then flop it down it's going to be secure um, now the xm4s do also come with a case and the case is going to be uh, even more uh, smaller obviously because um, it's you have that design to be able to allow you to fold it up like that so if you do want to carry both of these with protection the xm4s is going to be better for traveling because of this compact nature and also the smaller case now, to be fair, most of the headphones in this price bracket for the XM5s don't fold up either, so they're not really doing anything out of the ordinary, but it is kind of out of the ordinary with the WH series. So that's the first thing that really jumped out to me is the fact that they can't fold up anymore. But luckily, I do have both, but that might be a deciding factor for you. Now, both of these headphones come in the same two colors. So you have the black that I'm showing you today and also that Sony tan color that they've been using for a long time. Now, the tan is cool, but I would like to see more color options, especially like a gray or a white or something. So I think I think Sony has a little room to play around with with the colors for these. And so what else, what else? Oh, the XM5s do not have NFC, so you have that on the xm 4 so on the right ear cup, you can bring your phone over and tap it, and then you'll get a notification asking if you wanna pair them with your smartphone, and that happens really fast. Where on the XM5s, you just have to go through the app or through the Bluetooth settings. Oh, and when it comes to adjusting the headphones for your head, you will find a different mechanism. So with the XM4s, this is how it looks and sounds. Okay, so it has like that zip tie type of sound, but with the XM5s, this is what you see and what you hear. Okay, so you can hear that it is a quieter to operation and it is just a more premium type of feel when you are adjusting that. I'm gonna be using that premium word a lot in this review. Now on the right ear cups for these headphones, you will find the USB-C port that you will be using for charging. And speaking of charging and battery life, uh, these both still have a 30 hour battery life, so nothing is different with that, but you will find a difference in the fast charging times. So with the XM5s, when you do plug them in, in just three minutes, you can get three hours of playback, but 
but with the XM4s, in 10 minutes, you will get just five hours of playback. So if you adjust for the amount of time between those, you will find that you can get a quicker charge with more time back with the XM5. So I don't really use this a lot. I'm not really in that type of time crunch, but if you do get on a plane and you forgot to charge them, um, you, if you do have an outlet, you can plug them in and just really be able to go back to being wireless in a faster amount of time with the XM5s. And then on the right ear cuffs for both of these headphones, you will find a 3.5 millimeter headphone port there. So you can still go wired. And then also you will find two buttons, one for the power and Bluetooth pairing. And then the other one is going to be able to adjust the noise cancellation and the ambient sound mode. So on the XM4s, you will see that they call it the custom button, but on the XM5s, they have it dedicated to be called um, noise canceling or ambient mode. And the reason it's called the custom button on the XM4s is that with that button, you can control the noise cancellation mode, ambient sound mode, and also activating the voice assistant for your phone. But on the XM5s, it only controls noise cancellation and ambient sound mode. In order to use the voice assistant on the XM5s, you have to use the touch controls on the right ear cup to be able to activate that. So if you are the person who doesn't like to actually use the touch controls on the headphones and you turn them off, you also won't be able to use a voice assistant. And speaking of noise cancellation, let's go ahead and talk about that. So on the XM5, Sony has doubled the hardware components that go into handling noise cancellation. So you have two processors compared to the one in the XM4s, and also you have a total of eight microphones compared to the four microphones. So basically each ear cup has four microphones in them. Um, on the XM4s, you only have two in each of those ear cups. And with the extra processing power in the XM5s, you now have this new auto noise cancellation optimizer feature, which allows the headphones to be able to automatically detect if you're in a car or if you're walking or if you're on a plane and adjust the performance of the noise cancellation to those specific environments. Now with the XM4s, you can still do this, but you have to go into the app and do it manually to be able to tell the headphones that you're on a plane or something. So I like that all of that is happening automatically on these XM5s. And as far as like the general performance, um, look, these are embargoes. So I couldn't just wear them out in public all the time, but I did sneak these on a plane and I had my hoodie over my head and I was able to listen to them uh, for a little while. And the noise cancellation is really rock solid. But when I do compare the noise cancellation to the XM4s, I did a test around here where I had some audio in the corner and I kept switching the headphones back and forth and I didn't really hear that drastic of a difference, but I'm also not an audiophile either. So uh, maybe my ears aren't tuned for that. But you know, Sony says that this will be able to handle the frequencies a lot better when it comes to noise cancellation. So I'm just taking their word on it, but I, I think as far as the real world uses, don't expect two times the performance just because you have two times the processing power and two times the microphones. But basically that's gonna be translating to the noise canceling um, optimization that it has to automatically adjust to depending on the, the environment that you're in. So that's where all of that power for me is mostly going to. But the noise cancellation with either one of these is still gonna be one of the best in the industry. But when it comes to ambient sound mode, I did hear a noticeable difference with these XM5s versus the XM4s. So basically ambient sound mode is gonna be using the microphones to pump in some audio so you can hear your surrounding environment. And basically, I one of the things I really noticed was that I didn't really hear the hum of my AC as much with these XM5s as I did with the XM4s, which it can kind of sound a little bit annoying. So they definitely cleaned that up with the ambient sound mode. Oh, and something else that's coming over from the XM4s that's found its way to the XM5s is the ability to temporarily activate the ambient sound mode. So maybe you're using noise cancellation, but you quickly want to hear someone talking to you. You can press your hand on the right ear cup and then it will automatically activate the ambient sound mode so you can have a natural conversation and then when you release your hand noise cancellation will turn back on and also your audio will start playing and something else both of these headphones have is the speak to chat function or is it speak to talk i can't remember but anyway basically if you do enable it when you start talking and you're wearing these headphones it will automatically notice that and then activate the ambient sound mode so you can continue your conversation and then when you stop talking um, it will go ahead and turn the noise cancellation back on. So again, that's a feature that you have to enable yourself, but it's pretty cool. And then on the right ear cups of both of these headphones, you have the ability to swipe up and down to adjust the volume, or you can swipe left and right to be able to go between the different songs that you're listening to. So you have these touch controls that will allow you to control your audio playback and also if you're answering phone calls and stuff like that. Now, speaking of phone calls, let's talk about that difference. So out of the eight microphones on the XM5s, four of them are going to be beamforming, where on the XM4s, you don't have any beamforming microphones. You 
You still have microphones to hold a phone call, but it's not going to be as good as the XM5s because beamforming means that it's going to be able to focus on your voice and try to block out all of the background noise and stuff to make your calls crystal clear. So let's go ahead and listen to the difference between these two when it comes to call quality. Okay, so this first test is using the XM4s. I am indoors and this is how it sounds using the built-in microphones. I have a little bit of background noise with the AC going and the air coming out of the vents. But for right now, I'm about to just be quiet for five seconds so you can see how it sounds when I'm not speaking. All right, now I'm about to switch over to the XM5s. And now we're on the XM5, so this is how it sounds with the new hotness going on. So um, the audio quality should be better, but you be the judge. Let me know down in the comments which one you think sounds better. But for right now, I am going to be quiet for another five seconds so you can see how it sounds when I'm not speaking. And now I'm about to quickly switch back over to the XM4s. Okay, so we're back over to the XM4s and I'm about to switch you right back over to the XM5s. And now we're back on the XM5. So again, let me know which one sounds better down in the comments. Okay, so now let's talk about audio quality because these are headphones, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, so with the XM5s, you have this new carbon fiber 30 millimeter drivers inside of these. Um, so that's gonna be hopefully giving you some better audio quality. But look, I'm not an audiophile. So you're not gonna get a very technical explanation from me with this. Uh, but what I will say is that when I was listening to multiple genres of music, I really noticed the low end and the bass, um, that, it, that it was tighter on these XM5s, especially when I listened to the Dunkirk soundtrack by my man Hans Zimmer, um, it, because that music was really based off of tension. So the drums or whatever that was creating that low end was very, very um, you know, prevalent in that music. And I found that I enjoyed it a lot better on these XM5s versus on the XM4s. Doesn't mean that it sounds muddy or something on the XM4s. It's just that it sounded better on the XM4s. And fives, but when it came to like the highs and the mids and all that other stuff, I didn't really hear like a significant difference between these two headphones. Um, so generally, I will say that if you're like me, just someone who wants the music to sound good, no matter if I'm listening to it in Apple Music or Spotify, and maybe you're not going to take advantage of the LDAC or the DSEE Extreme support that you have um, in these headphones. Um, if you're like me, you just want something that sounds great, these XM5s are going to be better, but it's not that type of gap between these and the XM4s where I think it's going to be a big decision factor for people. They both sound great. The XM5s sound better, but again, it's not going to be something very drastic. All right, so what else about these XM5s? So they do come in plastic-free packaging, so it's gonna be very responsible packaging that's gonna be easily recyclable for you. And also, these do have uh, multi-point connections, so you can have these paired with two devices at the same time. And that's gonna be better than what you can do with the XM4s because um, you can use the Sony headphones app to be able to designate which one of those devices or the two devices that you wanna pair with. And then also, when you are switching between those two devices, it's a more seamless connection as you're doing that, uh, where you don't have to do anything you can just start playing something on that other device and it'll go ahead and automatically switch over to the audio coming from that one so look at the end of the day you have two really good headphones to choose from and hopefully this review gave you a good idea about which one might be the best for you if you're looking for the best portable better traveling headphones the xm4s are definitely that but if you want that premium experience when it comes to better audio better noise cancellation um, in, in theory then also to better ambient sound mode a better premium design as far as how it feels when you touch it and also when you do put it on your head um, and these refinement to features like the uh, multi-point connection and those type of things are better with these XM5s. These are a better pair of headphones, but there are some things that might make you choose one over the other. And I just really like the fact that Sony is keeping both of these. Um, so you have an option and as consumers, I always say the more options we have, the better. And especially when that happens within the same company. So the choice is yours and let me know down in the comments, which one of these would you choose for yourself? And like always, thanks for watching this video. Hit that subscribe and notification button. Like this video if you did like it, and I will catch you later. Peace.